Hi, this is Chris Berha. In this video, we're going to cover the computer technician tools, supplies, and testing a computer. Now we're here. These are the computer technician tools, supplies, and testing a computer. Number one, the essential parts or the tools for uh, troubleshooting a computer is an anti-static wrist this one and we need also the ratchet handle which we, we put the uh, Phillips or uh, screwdriver number two we need a uh, 21 piece bit and sockets this one here and this one these are the sockets and uh, we need also a Phillips six number one Phillips screwdriver and uh, the most important here is this Phillips is supposed to be demagnetized so it will not uh, break uh, internal devices of our computer and then uh, we have the spare parts box this is where we put the screws and everything and uh, we put also the screws we remove in this area so we can remember where we put it though These are the storage one and uh, we need also a reversible 1 by 8 mini screwdriver this is the one the 1 by 8 mini screwdriver and uh, mini Phillips screwdriver and we have also here the uh, hex key set different sizes and uh, we need also a long nose plier so we're here we need also a um, wire cutter when we cut some wires in different sizes and we have the gauge over here and uh, the IC insertion extractor clipper this one when we're inside the uh, PC we remove here the IC inside the motherboard by clicking here and we need also the three prongs holder this one it's over here you notice there's a like a three holder there that can hold the small devices and we need also the tweezer for small screws and also we need a digital multimeter when we uh, using this when we checking the bolts ampere you know especially in the uh, power supply and uh, we, we need also a flashlight especially when it's inside the computer uh, the PC and it's kind of dark that we can see and a cloth for wiping the monitor this one is the uh, soft cloth and uh, also we need a power surge as much as possible we can you should buy uh, the high yield jewels so for more protection and uh, keyboard and mouse also the monitor for checking computer is working and uh, one thing also is the uh, 
can of compressed air this one here for removing the dust and everything and our backup CDs in case we uh, accidentally remove the uh, operating system but um, mostly nowadays all the PCs are installed uh, recovery system um, it was installed in uh, D driver like uh, it shows that it's uh, in a secondary partition so basically we have everything here tools we need in uh, troubleshooting or fixing or uh, to test the uh, computer if it's working we need some uh, peripher peripheral device like a uh, mouse and a uh, keyboard now we're here in the back of the computer and uh, you'll see the uh, connection of the peripheral devices we have here the green which is the six mini pin mini dim uh, green for the mouse and uh, six pin mini dim purple for the keyboard and they call it PS2 and mostly the uh, manufacturer now is uh, matching the color of their keyboard and the mouse and uh, to check it also we need the uh, Ethernet cord or Ethernet cable or the RJ45 which is connected to the NIC or the uh, network interface card in my case I have the uh, wireless card which is uh, wireless connection and we can use the wireless and uh, also we can uh, also option to use the uh, wireless I mean the cable uh, RJ45 the internet cable and now we're gonna connect the uh, monitor which is the video on the video card it's a BGA analog and this one is a thumb screw it's a D shape like that and uh, it is only one way to connect you're not gonna have trouble connecting this because it's only a one-way uh, connection and we're gonna screw it and the next one is the uh, the power cable which is also a three holes and it's a D shape and then there's no way you can uh, connect in the wrong way so connect it here so everything is connected now we can check if the uh, computer is working this time we're gonna check the computer is working properly I turn it on and it's supposed to be it boot uh, window XP since the operating system is Windows XP there you go it's booting out now and it shows that the computer is working properly and that's it thanks for watching my video Hope you learned something about the tools, supplies of computer technicians and testing a computer.